Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, no, I'm Remigio Brunelli, technical group. Uh, we move into step in what we do, first of all. But our vision for sure is to inspire an active uh, outdoor life. Huh? And uh, our mission is to create an amazing ex uh, experience through outstanding products. So we are really outdoor uh, company. And it's a quite long history, almost is, uh, 62 years uh, across the uh, beginning. But some of our brands, they have uh, close to 100. So we are definitely devoted to the uh, outdoor. And outdoor definitely means uh, uh, green planet and sustainability, we have, a, we have a certain value that they should be summarized in terms of uh, sustainability for us. The free P for us uh, in terms of sustainability, it's first of all people in terms of group. Uh, uh, planet, that is the topic of, uh, of today, but as well as profit, because uh, profit has to be transparent, has to be honest, and has to be delivered the message that we do exactly what we deliver as a message, and then we are gonna reinvest it, our profit into the, our mission and, uh, and vision. Uh, the company, it's uh, mainly based uh, on uh, these kind of areas in terms of actions, in which uh, we, of course, you, uh, some of you know that there are so many topics that has to be chosen, uh, and we focus on uh, this uh, uh, eight. Uh, that is going to involve uh, several stakeholders uh, into the uh, into ecosystem. So we are in the center with our people and our management and employees. Uh, but then we have important parts, starting from university, uh, shareholders, suppliers, uh, retailers, and in the end, uh, it's consumers, so all of us. Uh, the, I would like to show you what it's one of our interesting projects that has been uh, launched uh, two years ago, that is uh, Recycle Your Boots. Uh, because at our, brother, our group has an, a big impact in terms of uh, plastic products. So we start into thinking how we could be recycled and has to be in an ecosystem that is gonna be returning to, to the origin. Especially, this is for Carlo that we have a, a support in terms of funding from the European uh, community because, it's, as I said before, is a is a circle recycling uh, that it's uh, almost from you can see on the right side of the uh, of the board, uh, starting from the products uh, and then it's gonna through the retailers uh, back to the logistic. Uh, and uh, back to us in terms of reconditioning the products, uh, disassembling, and then uh, regenerating materials. 
So it's, a, it's very important and it's interesting for us because uh, uh, one of the topics that for me is today is the most important as an industry is that we're talking a lot about uh, green economy, recycling, but we need to educate the customers to do that. And we need to give them a reason why, otherwise uh, the process is gonna be stopped. So for us, we focus on this uh, educational pro project. Uh, we started to sensibilize the customers to bring the products, no matter it's not related to our brands. They bring in bats any kind of uh, ski boots in uh, identify uh, po point of sales, uh, and they can have a uh, buy a new one. There is not any kind of uh, benefit for them, but there is an, a commitment from them that we take in the responsibilities that their own old products is going to have another life. So that is the part in which we are focused in terms of uh, education. So Min says uh, the payoff is give to your ski boots a second life. But sustainability, it's definitely for us uh, uh, focus on Product production uh, and distribution, because in the end, is our engine in order to continue to be able to elaborate the uh, products, innovation, technology. The we have production uh, uh, quite sensitive in terms of uh, recycling and uh, uh, carbon credit user. Uh, we have uh, in terms of distribution and sensibilization, as I just told uh, with you. The project that I show you in this moment is focused on US, uh, uh, sorry, in the Europe. Uh, I'm working in order to try to transfer in China as well, but I need to have all the value chain that is going to be helping me to track uh, and have a uh, blockchain uh, in order to respect in our words and our, uh, and our statement. And this is uh, our real core. I mean, this is what we're working for. This is the, our uh, e daily energy, different brands. Uh, uh, I know that we are an Italian design icon, so for the poorest Italian, I would like to say that all these products originally maybe were from other countries, but all the R&D and the design is in Italy, through Italian uh, people. So all these brands are belong to uh, the group uh, and have uh, a very important roots uh, in uh, our countries uh, in order to transmit not only technology, but even passion. A very quick overview uh, in terms of uh, who is not familiar with our brands. Uh, Blitzer is Austrian brand uh, uh, since uh, 1945 uh, and is focused on skis. Uh. Lova is a German brand uh, focused on uh, uh, hiking and, uh, and trekking shoes. Uh. Mumbut uh, is totally Italian despite of, of the name and has been an inspiration of the first man that he walked on the moon. Nordica, it's a uh, 100% Italian, uh, focus on skis and ski boots. Uh, and Rollerblade, uh, it's American brand originally, is one of the few cases in which uh, a brand is became a word uh, and a substantive afterwards. Uh, in somehow we need to bring it back as a brand because people, they say, let's go into Rollerblade, but don't, they don't identify that they're using a brand. So it's in somehow it's a, it became negative for us. And the last, not least, it's uh, definitely the mother brand of, of the group. Uh, that is Technica, and that's the reason why we're talking about Technica Group. For some people that they like figures, I always thinking about my friend Carlo because when he's gonna be sum up certain uh, take uh, take away. We are 340, 3,430 3, colleagues around the world. Uh, we do 466 million euros in terms of uh, distribution and wholesale. We don't do retail. And uh, sorry back this one we almost cover every area of the planet where there is a, some mainly snow or outdoor activities to do mainly focus in Europe but as well as in North America and uh, in Asia I, and this is the in term of figures is our production uh, worldwide divided by categories not by brands so footwear skates ski boots and uh, and skis Therefore, what I'd like to say is uh, enjoy the outdoor, and I wish that we could be really play outdoors activities uh, soon uh, all together. Thanks a lot. Woo!